skipping a few pages and moving on to page 643 um, as we still continue to learn about mass. So I'm going to do page 643 with you and then I will have you work on page 644 by yourself. After you're done working on that page, you can send a picture of it to me and then get on to the I Ready Mass lesson afterwards, all right? Okay, good luck. Hey you guys, we are going to be working on page 643 together today and then you will continue and work on page 644 by yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and see what they want us to do here. It says, read and try to solve the problem below. All right, sounds simple enough. Let's see what our problem is telling us. Jamie bought a medium-sized watermelon at the store. That's, I'm assuming this is our watermelon. Estimate the mass of the watermelon. Now, this is going to be helpful to do together because there are just so many different ways that we can work with here. So we can go like this. Let's write out what we know. Paper clip. How much does a paper clip weigh? You guys remember one what? One banana, one toe, one inch? No, one gram. If you remembered that, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. Okay, we also said that about one kilogram is our measurement. You know, let me let me just write this differently, I'm sorry. We also said that a hardcover book is about one kilogram, right? We said a baseball bat that's wooden, but we're also we also know that a hardcover book is pretty much the same weight. Oh, okay. Now, let's think about this. Is a watermelon heavier than a paper clip? I would say so, right? A lot heavier. So, we don't want to use the grams to estimate. We don't want to use the paper clip measurement. Um, we want to use the kilograms because the kilograms measure the things that are a bit heavier, okay? So, we're going to write that out. We're explaining our process here, okay? So, we will say a watermelon is much heavier than a paper clip. So I would use books to estimate. Remember, estimate means we don't have a scale in front of us. We're not entirely sure yet. So once we stack our books, we might need to do this. We might need to pick up the watermelon first, right? Feel the heaviness, hold it for a few seconds, feel the heaviness, and then put it down because it's too heavy, right? And then after that, to find something that is close to the same heaviness, you're going to want to start with books, right? So if we're going to start with books, we will start with one book. And we'll say, well, that's not nearly as heavy as the watermelon I just picked up. So after you take one book, you're going to want to put another one because it's still not as heavy as a watermelon. Fine, you stack another book on top of that first book. You have two books. Now, are the two books as heavy as a watermelon yet? I would think not. The watermelon is very heavy. There's a lot of stuff inside of it. So, you keep doing this process over and over and this is what I would say. I would say about six books would feel about the same weight as a watermelon, okay? We're going to use that as our example. And we're going to say, let's go ahead and write this out. Let's, I mean, draw this out, my bad. We're going to draw this out just so that you have a visual of what in the world your teacher is talking about. Three, four, five, we need another one. Here are some books, and here is our yummy watermelon. Okay, so this is the same weight as this, is what we are saying, okay? These have to be some pretty, you know, thick books, thick chapter books, when we're trying to make it weigh the same amount here. <clears throat> so we're going to say this. Here's a star, six books have a mass of, think about this, before we move on, how much did we say a hardcover book weighed? How many kilograms? 
one kilogram, right? Okay, well, if each of these books are one kilogram, how many kilograms do we have all together? Go ahead and think about your answer, please. I hope you came up with six kilograms. So to finish our sentence, we're going to say six books have a mass of six kilograms. Okay? So overall, we're going to say our esti our, what we estimate, okay? I estimate the mass of a watermelon is about how many kilograms? How many kilograms? Didn't we say that these are the same weight right here? If this is six kilograms all together, well, if it's the same weight equal to that, then this also must be six kilograms. So I estimate the mass of a watermelon is about six kilograms. <clears throat> and in your everyday life, you just might want to know how heavy something is. This is how you can do that, okay? So there's a good example for you. I want you to go ahead and work on page 644 by yourself. This is what it looks like right here. Okay, and do your very best with it. I know you will understand it because you're awesome. If you need any help, I will be here to help you though, okay? And you can go back, rewind, pause the video if you need to continue copying this page down for your reference. Hi you guys, thank you for tuning in to today's math lesson. All right, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.